right, guys, this is uh, Travis with Big TRC. I got something new tonight. I got the uh, UMX Night Vapor um, by E-Flight from Horizon Hobby. Um, not a new plane, obviously. Um, it's new to me, but it's been out for a while, and, you know, I know it's a, kind of like a fan favorite for a lot of people. Um, I've never, I've, I've had several opportunities to buy one, but I never have. I just didn't like the price point for something this small. Uh, with the bind and fly version being a little bit over 100 and the ready to fly version about 140 but uh, last week i had an opportunity to fly one um, we've been doing some indoor flying at my church uh, with an outreach program that i started a ministry through my church and a couple of guys had them and i flew it and i was like wow uh, really regretting not getting this plane sooner i could literally feel my blood pressure dropping as i was flying it around it's such a cool like little plane it's Got so much control for what it is. Uh, I'm going to fly it on a uh, 1S 150 milliamp battery right there. Calls calls for up to a 250 milliamp, but I'm going to start with something smaller. Uh, with the battery and everything, the weight is 25 grams, so pretty much nothing. So not only do you not have to worry about regulations, um, you could probably fly it around uh, uh, the offices at the FAA, and they wouldn't even know that it's flying low. They don't have to worry about a transponder on it, which is awesome. Uh, perfect plane for the front yard or the backyard, I think. It's got lights on it, so if you wanted to fly it at night, that'd be cool. Um, due to its weight, of course, it's extremely uh, um, affected by wind and everything. Tonight, it's about three miles an hour wind, so I'm going to try that out. I think it's probably best as an indoor plane. Um, if you guys want to see it fly, stick around. I'm going to maiden this thing and see how it goes. All right, taking right off my driveway. And that right there is pretty much what I expected it to do. Very stable. Uh, like I said, it's about three mile an hour wind. Uh, really no breeze, but if there is a slight breeze, my house might be blocking it being I'm directly in front of my house. You can see even like three channel, there's still a lot of control. doing figure eights right here and it handles it really well like i said even with uh the uh, battery the all-up weight is 25 grams which is just ridiculous i think a hard-boiled egg weighs more than 25 grams I'm not giving it any trim, any beeps that you hear and stuff. That's just my throttle because I have the throttle so low. This I'm probably flying right now at about a quarter throttle. Just kind of cruising around here. I don't want to get up too high because I have some obstacles here, but I also can't fly too low. I got the bush and the tree and the power lines right there, so I'm going to avoid that stuff. You can see these lights really show up well, and I know you, from what I understand, you could change the, the these lights, uh, but I haven't set that up yet. I'm not exactly sure of what my flight time could be on this yet. I'm not sure if this has the L, uh, low voltage cut off or the motor starts to pulse or anything like that. I 
Thing's just absolutely perfect for this type of flying. Small space. Fly your front yard, your backyard. You know, probably fly it through your house. Just kind of gliding along and handles it really well. Go around the old pine tree one more time. One thing about it, when it gets turned away from you, it is kind of, you do get a little bit disoriented. It's hard to make out the profile on it. Start setting up for my landing here pretty soon. I'm a little bit worried about these grooves in my concrete because these wheels are very small. I don't want anything to get caught in the in that crack and break it off. Look at this thing. Just Yeah, this right here is probably about half to three quarter throttle. You can hardly even hear the motor running. I'm sure people in my neighborhood think I'm a weirdo. I'm always standing out here flying airplanes. Setting up for this landing here pretty soon. It's so much fun, you just fly it all day and, and never stop. All right, I'm going to bring her in real easy and perfect. All right, guys, that was the... The Maiden of the Night Vapor, pretty much what I expected. Um, flies awesome, uh, just like the ones I flew last week. I'm really looking forward to to uh, flying this one inside throughout the winter. Um, you know, I, I don't give a lot of airplanes five stars, but I'm going to give this one five stars. I uh, highly recommend that you buy this, especially if you have a place you can fly indoors or if you even have, like, a large basement. It would be good for that, seriously. Uh, that being said, you know, um, like I'd said before, you know, we've been flying indoors at my church. Um, if you are near Northeast Ohio and you'd be interested in coming and joining us, uh, I'm going to put a link in the comments. Um, check that out. Reach out to me. Maybe we can get something set up so you can come fly with us. We'd love to have you. Uh, anyways, guys, that's it. Hope you have a good night. Uh, happy flying and God bless.